Hi, it's me again. I just want to apologize because I haven't uploaded anything to my website. Actually, I've been quiet for a long uh, since the last year. Well, the reason is because I've been a little busy with my other work. I don't do this for a living. I, I mentioned a couple times ago. This is my hobby also. I just want to learn more graphic design, web design, and motion graphics. And also, I've been working on my website. If you see, it's a uh, total redesigning. I don't know, you guys know, uh, if you've been following me, I've been changing my layout uh, or dim every six months or eight months. Uh, you know, that's uh, WordPress themes. Well, but let me tell you something. Before, I, I used to use uh, an application called RST to make a uh, WordPress website. You know, there's a really cool application to make uh, WordPress themes and Joomla themes and other templates, create templates actually. But the problem with this application is you cannot make the way you want, the way you like. Actually, you know, you cannot uh, arrange the layout, you can arrange the columns or the widgets uh, like I have on my website. That's what I say, you know, let me make my own WordPress theme from scratch. That's what I start using uh, Photoshop to make this cage and then I start coding with HTML code and CSS style sheet. Well, as you see, my website has, uh, you know, this actually is a widget, has uh, three boxes, uh, you know, down here we got another column with three image, which it says coming soon. So let me tell you, I'm working on another uh, cool project that will be available to download for free, of course, as always. And also down here, I got the latest post. Down below the latest post, we have the, another widget, which is in blank. Uh, of course, I will be uh, uh, uploading something else that adds a surprise for you guys. And down here, also this dark part, it's another widget. Of course, it will be much uh, uh, more uh, later on. As soon as we finish with the project we've been working. Well, in this video tutorial, do a request in YouTube video that I made in Spanish a year ago. So I have a couple comments, a couple requests asking me if I can make an in English. So let me read this um, comment. And it says, well, this looks seems like interesting, but the problem is I don't understand Spanish. I think it's not just me. There is someone else asking for an English version. Please, if you don't mind, make this in English. You know, that's what I'm trying to recreate this in English. Well, the first thing we need to download the brushes pack for Photoshop. That's matter the version you're using. It uh, can be a CS3, CS4, CS5, CS6, CS4, uh, CS6, or CC, actually, I'm sorry. That's the latest version of Adobe, the Creative Cloud, as you know. Well, you know mm, better than me, so uh, you know what I'm talking about. Well, let's uh, start the video. Uh, I don't gonna be take long to do this video. It's just a couple of steps, an easy way to install, you know. And I uh, will be making the uh, video tutorial for the PC users uh, because it's a little different, the installation. But the use is the same thing. The steps to use or apply the brushes is the same thing. It doesn't matter if you're using Mac or if you're using PC. Well, the first thing you need to do or you have to do is just go to my website, netstudio.com and see this, what it's the, what it says, uh, Photoshop um, brush pack. And it will take to the page where you can download the, the brushes pack for PC and for Mac. As you see, up here we have a Mac and uh, down here we have for PC. Now we're working on the Mac, so we're gonna download for Mac. So just click and wait a little couple seconds. It won't take long because it's not a huge project, it's a small. And let's uh, see, it didn't take more than five seconds, I guess. So let's uh, find my finder. Uh, let me just pull up the window, the download folder. And here we got the folder. Let's open the folder. I got the PSD project and also the license agreement. It's nothing bad. You can read if you don't mind. And also it's uh, asking me to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to YouTube, please. And let's close this. And also we have, let me see where we have this. Uh, oh, come on. All right, here we go. And also we have the brush pack, of course. 
so let's uh, keep this open and go and open a new uh, window finder and make this uh, let's move to the left and this to the right so the way to install the brushes in Photoshop, as I said before, doesn't matter which version you're using. In this case, I'm using the CC. So the uh, the installation or whatever you call it will be the same steps. And let's uh, first we need to uh, click applications and look for Adobe Photoshop uh, folder. Double click and you will see the presets. Double click and we have to look for the brushes. It's up here in the Photoshop and doesn't matter which version you're using, but all of them will bring a couple of brushes. Well, I don't really like them, but in case you need, you cannot delete it. You just keep it. That's why I don't like to delete. Well, the easiest uh, way to install is uh, just open your download folder where you have the brushes pack, right click and copy the uh, Nera Studio Pack and then go back to the uh, brushes folder and right click and paste the item. That's all. You don't have to do anything else and we already drag and drop in the uh, brushes folder and we're ready to go. And just click those and then we need to open up uh, Photoshop. Actually, I already opened. If you're using for the first time, you haven't added any brushes pack or any brushes. So this will appear like this. First, we need to go file, make a new file where we can upload the or apply the the brushes. So let me pull the uh, settings window. It's in my other screen. Okay, here we go. For this test, I'm not gonna worry about the dimensions and the resolution and nothing, anything else. I just uh, hit OK. And here we got uh, something else for now. We're just gonna click because something is wrong there, but uh, I might need to uh, check this carefully. Anyway, so here we got to apply the uh, brushes, you need to create a, a layer for each uh, brush you need uh, to apply. So that's much better to move uh, between the layers or between the, uh, the brushes we can apply. For default, actually, uh, it's uh, showing me the brush that I, that it comes with uh, Photoshop, but we need to use the brush that we just downloaded and uploaded to the brush folder. Anyway, so the way to use it, we're gonna click the uh, the brush tool or the shortcut is the B as a boy, and then we need to go to the brushes window, and here we got our, actually our brushes. I already in my Photoshop, but if you are installing for first time, you won't see it. You won't see those uh, brushes and the and the Windows brushes. So the way to pull it up is just go to this icon gear and go to load the brushes. And you know, you already know where you drop it off the. Uh, the uh, the brushes so it was on uh, applications Adobe Photoshop and it was uh, presets and then it was uh, brushes and then just uh, look for the brush you downloaded and let's see was a Nora it's a Nora Studio where is it let me see let me see let me see let me see and here we got the Nora Studio artwork designer brushes and just uh, select and then open. Actually, I duplicate it, but uh, if you are installing for the first time, you won't see this duplicated. Anyway, so let's also go back to the icon gear and just uh, see this a large thumbnail. It's much better to use. And here we already installed and we can start using it. So that's the easiest way to install a Mac. And I, as I said before, I'm going to make another tutorial for the user's, user's uh, PC. So the link will be down below in the description. So please feel free to click and watch the video. So let's apply and see how they look. And just uh, for this test, let me try this. Actually, let me also let me change the color. So you can change the color. You can do whatever you want. Uh, let me see my color picker. It's, uh, window is, uh, the other, the other, is the other side, so let me just pull up. Here we go. So in this, so you can apply your own volume. You can just drag the color picker. Actually, let me just go to a little pink, maybe. 
don't know so just for this test let me just click OK and just click see it's an easy way to apply so let me just create another layer and also we're gonna take another brush uh, style another brush so let's see where we can only uh, take this and let me also change the color it's a little orange dark and then this is high resolution brushes for large project so let me also for to to increase or decrease the uh, brush size you can there's a shortcut the bracket key down below the the lead key there's uh, two bracket keys to the left and the right so you see you can increase and decrease uh, the size and also we have up here we have the slider to decrease or increase the size so let me just click and there is my brushes let me try another brush uh, let's see go back to the uh, brushes panel uh, actually and then am um, I taking this and see actually let me just slide a little bit slide down the size and click let me change the color let me this might me look better if we took a uh, green a little bigger so then this apply another layer so put this behind it there you go yeah that's the way to use actually that's the way to install the brushes in mac so you know uh, just go to my website nerdstudio.com and that's free you don't have to worry about it just uh, download and zip it if you're using a uh, pc you have to use um winrar or unzip uh, application but in mac you don't have to worry about it because uh, when you download it's already unzip it or uncompress it, whatever you call it. anyway and that's the way to install in a uh, in mac well this is the video Hope you guys like it. Please subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well. And give a like on YouTube. If you have any question, any comment, just leave in the comment area. And I will be happy to answer anything. And hope to see you soon. Okay, take care.